Hey folks, my name is uh, Rob Oliveira. I'm an art director at United Front Games. Uh, and I'm working on Mod Nation Racers. And today I'm gonna show you how to, easy it is to create a character, which we call mods in our game. And let's get to it. Uh, so right here, we're in the studio. This is uh, Tag, our, one of our main characters in the career mode. But we're gonna build a new guy, start from scratch. So let's start with an absolutely blank character. And we're gonna say continue, so let's go. So here we got a bunch of options. We've got like the skin tone, a bunch of head options, facial features, clothing, stickers, uh, which are gonna come in really handy. Uh, we've even got the voice. We can even give them a different voice. And there's also some odds and ends you can play with as well. So let's start with, where do I start? I, let's start with the skin. And just give them a little uh, skin tone action. And what you'll see here is a ton of colors that we've kind of pre-picked for you. And as you start to use these colors, they'll pop up to the beginning uh, to make it easier for you to color coordinate. So if you're using blues a lot, it'll pop that blue up to the very first, second choice, and it'll be there so you can easily color coordinate. And we've even got some buttons uh, to help you do that even faster. So let's give him a kind of an olive uh, skin tone here. And we can go back. Uh, actually, if we want to, let's, let's go back. If we wanted to, we can even change the material properties. So if we want him to be shiny, we can crank up the metal. We should start to see him get a little chromier here. There you go, you can start to see some reflection. We can turn up the cloth, with, which will change the kind of the way how specular he is. And we can turn down the rubber to make him even super chromier. So, and we try and provide this functionality for just about every single part in the game. So if you want to make chrome helmets or cloth helmets, whatever you want to do, you can do it in here. And we tried to provide as much flexibility in every single part. So I'm going to go with this. Actually, I'm going to turn down the metal a little bit because it's freaking me out. There we go. So let's just get him a little shiny, a little plastic here. And let's go for some facial features. So again, we give you a ton of different options to choose from here. Uh, all these eyes are animatable, so as the moment you slap them on, you should get some, some blinking and a little bit of personality. So right, there you go, he's starting to kind of live a little bit already. Um, we can modify these, so let's, we've got basic, for everything we'll try and give you like a basic functionality and an advanced functionality, again just so you can spend as little or as much time as you want. So with the eyes here, we've just got some basic edits, so I can change like the, the general position of these, I can change the global scale. Now, if I want to hit L1, we can do some advanced things. We can start to scale them, rotate them. We can flip them. Uh, we can mirror them. And we can change the transparency even. And again, this range of options is, is kind of available in every advanced mode. But again, let's go back and stick to the simple stuff. So we like where his eyes are. Uh, we're going to find him a mouth. Again, here, as soon as we throw a mouth in here, he should start jabbering. So he's already starting to come to life, and again, we spent just a couple seconds on this guy. So we like that. Let's, uh, I'm not gonna give him a nose, because that's just how I roll. Uh, let's give him some ears. And here, so you notice that the ears are, are pink. Let's go edit those and find the color. And you'll notice here our skin tone is here waiting for us because we've used it once already. So we've instantly matched his ear color perfectly. And again, you're gonna see this happen time and time again. The more we play with this, the more we're gonna punt colors up for you to make them as easy to access as possible. Let's get him some hair. And let's find him a decent hairstyle. What do I feel like today? Go with... Let's go with this little quaff right here. So he's looking a little slick, kind of like my dad did back in the day. And I'm gonna move on to clothing now. So let's get this guy some clothes. So again, there's some overalls and we're gonna check out the color options on those. And there we go. Uh, with just about everything we provide here, we try and give you at least uh, one color channel, but uh, at, the, at the max, you get three color channels for every single part. And we can go in here and again, start playing with the different colors on this guy. So if we don't want blue jeans, we want to make these red jeans or even skin tone jeans, that skin tone's waiting for us, orange jeans. 
I'm gonna go back to blue because I like blue. But again, you can just start messing with all these parts. Let's change the stitching color on these. If we want some red stitching, there we go. And then again, we've got one more channel. So I'm happy with these, so I'm gonna stick with these. So he's kind of looking like a well-groomed hillbilly so far. Let's get him some, what else do we want? Let's find some shoes for this guy. So, there we go, I like these. I'm gonna get him some hiking boots. That's kind of what I would wear if I was just kicking around. And do I want some gloves? Let's get him some racing gloves. So there we go, get some sweet racing gloves. Again, if, these, if we want to mess with these, make them a little different color, a little tan leather. Uh, and then uh, even if you pick this color, again, we can just go to the color wheel and tone this down a bit, make them more like a brown leather. And there we go. So here's our sticker option, and this goes uh, amongst carts and characters. So we've got all these areas among this guy where we can apply stickers. Um, so we've just made it a little easier for you so you don't have to move uh, to just throw a sticker on and then try to find out where you are. You pretty much can go to all these different zones on his body. There we go, so he's holding out his arm for us and I'm gonna add a sticker layer. And then I'm just gonna kinda go through and figure out what I wanna put on there. So let's make this guy kind of uh, dangerous looking. Um, so we've got all these pre-made stickers here, but we've got also all these primitives. So if you wanted to build your own tattoo out of all these primitives, uh, you have that option. You can build whatever logo you want. I think you have about, at last count, about 500 layers to play with. So hopefully that's enough for you guys to make something uh, that you're proud of. But I'm gonna stick a skull on this guy because I think that's cool looking. So again, like all our other options, we have the advanced functionality on here. We can move this sticker up here. We can start to scale it. Let's get this thing a little bit bigger, make it look real tough. Um, we can rotate it, skew it. Again, all the same options we were talking about before. You can even emboss this stuff. So let's kind of bring that out a notch. And I'm gonna make it a little more transparent, just so it looks more like a tattoo. So now we've got some stickers on this guy. Again, you can just go nuts on this. I'm gonna do this real quick for you guys, but you can go to nuts. I've seen some, some pretty amazing stuff and the guys in our office just uh, go crazy with the sticker system. So I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with it and you can devote a lot of time to it. So once you've made a sticker, you can link all these, pro these things together, save, save them as a sticker group, and then load them up later on other characters, on other carts. So if you've got like a racing clan when you're playing guys on, online, you can trade sticker sets and all have the same cool sticker on your car. So that's a real opportunity for some fun stuff. So I'm gonna add one more part on this guy, maybe like a cool set of sunglasses, because he deserves it. So let's find those. So there we go, let's get him some cool shades. There we go, those look like pretty cool racing glasses. I'm gonna change the color on those. Just a little darker. There we go, so he's looking pretty cool. So I'm gonna call him Race Jimmy. And we're gonna back out here and it's gonna give us the option to save him. So I, yes, I wanna keep him. And there we go. So Race Jimmy is my mod and I can't wait to see yours. See you online.